Hey guys, Good Marks Kids here, and today is going to be one of those very rare exceptions where I decide to take a chance on English, English silver plate. Now, to be honest with you all, I'm not that much of a fan of English silver plate. I don't really like the way it looks. I really like American stuff. It just looks, it just looks better to me. Like they. They always use these weird bulky designs and often they would use wooden handles on their pieces and wood is is fine until it rots off and then you end up with a mess. Most of the time that's what ends up happening with with wooden handles. They don't last as long as plated as a handles made of metal and when when uh plated handles metal handles fall off then it's not the easiest thing to do on earth but you can repair it with solder and it's not that hard but when a wooden handle starts to rot you're you're in trouble and probably ain't in any easy way to save the teapot at that point but I did take a shot at this it's not that bad looking in fact I think a lot of people will will enjoy the design really and another thing is that there's just not a whole lot of of english plate that that makes it on the secondary market a lot of this stuff was sold in england and it never it never jumped ship to america because america had so many plating firms that would compete with english stuff and it, it's always cheaper if you can if you can make stuff locally instead of having to import it, there would be import taxes and duties, or bring in plate from England. English stuff is relatively rare in the United States, but there's still some around, you know. Because English people did move to the USA. They did want to import things that, that reminded them of home. But yeah, this is the, this is the, the Sheffield design. It's classic. You see a lot of pieces. They look quite like this with the very bulbous stuff. They had the wide flaring out of neck and that wavy top here. And they like to use these these finials that look like these plastic pieces. And I'm not a huge fan of this kind of handle, but maybe you all would like it. Would like an English plate more than American, because beauty is in the eye of the beholder. But you can easily tell English stuff from, from American stuff once you've seen enough. And it's completely clear to me that that's what I was looking at, even without looking at the hallmarks. But let's take a look at the hallmarks on this piece. Could kind of, kind of interesting. So we've got an L, a B, Oh, it's upside down. Held it upside down, whoops. Okay, right right here. We've got an L, a B, what well, looks like a a wheel or something, a spoke. And then the letter H for some reason. Now I couldn't find any other any other um, instances of this exact hallmark being connected to to a company. And that's also another reason why I dislike English English silver plate is because it's so dang hard to um, to properly find the maker because all they used were initials and and then they would reuse the same initials over over again if you know they had the same initials. John Smith Silver Company would make something and put JS on their initials and then John Smith Jr. would do the same thing and then another John Smith came around another 40 years later and put JS as his fucking initials and it's just it's just so frustrating but but anyway th this could have been like three different companies and I'm not even going to try to 
try to figure out which one it is. I'm just going to put in my description LB. LB Sheffield, England, EPNS A1 T set. And that should do enough do enough to where the the pictures should talk. And hopefully the pictures will talk enough to sell the piece for me and I can get some kind of a profit off it. As far as price goes, I'm in for 50. There should be some profit involved in this. It'll probably sit around for a while, but I should be able to profit eventually and hopefully I can get at least a hundred for this the way it is because it's in great condition people who do like this English stuff they might enjoy this set and I do like how nice the hallmark is it, it's pleasant it's definitely pleasant but I wish that they had a different a different system to uh, to mark their pieces for uh, for their companies, but it is what it is. That's it for today's video, guys. Then Mark's just out.